Yeah. We back. What's up, J Team? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. So I already made homemade pasta from scratch. I did a whole video on it. And now this is the portion where I'm going to actually make a pasta dish, one of my favorite pasta dishes, salmon pesto pasta. Oh my goodness, I'm starving. I just want to get into it, okay? I just want to get into it because I'm just ready, okay? I'm recording this right after making the pasta, which took took a little bit of time to create the fettuccine, but it's okay, we're cool. So if you see any hidden flour anywhere, then you know why. Okay, first things first is to make the pesto. Pesto is so freaking good. If you do not like pesto, let me know below why. For a good old standard pesto, you need basil leaves, garlic, pine nuts, or walnuts if you don't have them. Some people use walnuts, nothing wrong with that, and olive oil. After you blend that up, you kind of taste it, and that's when you add in the seasoning. Most people use Parmesan cheese for the pesto. I'm gonna use uh, Romano. I heard it was good, I wanna try it, so. Romano, Romano, Romano. I'm gonna be using this type of cheese today. And then after we're done with our pesto, it's gonna be really smooth from there because salmon cooks very quick. Since the pasta was made fresh by me, it's going to boil really quick. It's gonna cook really quick. So this is like a quick meal, I should say. Make sure to like this video. Let's try to get this video to 10K likes for more cooking delicious meals from me. Cause your girl can throw down in the kitchen. It's no secrets. No secret. If you know, then you know. I have my food processor right here. Um, let me give my hands another wash and we'll get started. Adding in our bay leaves. <sighs> Fresh bay leaves. I think I've been saying bay leaves. Basil, basil, Jesus, basil. But what I was getting to is I wish I had my herb garden. Some of y'all know that it kind of failed. <laughs> It failed, it was too hot outside, up in Texas. So I will be starting it inside with the lights and all that and I just can't wait. Okay, y'all don't care, right. So I added in my basil leaves, garlic cloves. The recipe will be below. I measure with my heart. So what is below is what I went with, pine nuts. And now I'll blend this up. This is the most complicated food processor. So now on low, I'm gonna add in the oil. Mm, it smells so good. Give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, now some salt. Ooh, that tastes so good. It's so like nutty. Add some salt. My salt shaker is so weak, y'all. I don't think it wants me to get high blood pressure. Like, it's really trying to look out for your girl because not much comes out. <laughs> and some pepper, why not? Why not? And I'm gonna add in a little bit of lemon juice in mine. Even though I'm going to be adding more lemon <laughs> to the salmon. I love adding lemon to my salmon, like, come on now. So just a light squeeze, and then I'm just gonna pulse it a little bit. Oh, hold on, time out, we forgot cheese. <laughs> I'm just gonna add in this much cheese. Maybe a little bit more. Once again, not gonna blend it up. Just wanna, you know, introduce the cheese to the party. That's all we're doing. Okay, so this is my salmon. It already has salt on it. It's one of the first things I put on it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna throw some pepper. Why not? You can't go wrong with pepper. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice on here. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Smoked paprika. I also added some onion powder on here. 
and just flip it over and do it to the other side. Make sure you taste a little piece of your salmon. Just in case you know you're cooking for your boo, your babe, your family, you wanna make sure to be confident in your dish, you know? So taste as you go, because if you love it, you wanna bring a dish to the table and know what it tastes like. So nobody can tell you what your dish tastes like. Now the salmon is off to the side. It's time to make the pesto sauce. I would use all the burners and did this all at the same time, but I'm like, you know what, no, let me sew it down. The first thing, by the way, I have butter in here, tomatoes because we do want them to sweat out a little bit. We're not tossing the rest of this. No, 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 we're not doing that. Here's a trick, at least it's my trick. Chicken broth, okay? Just a, just a little. This is the pasta that I made, fettuccine. The link will be below on how I made this pasta. I'm gonna actually taste one. Ooh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is a big difference between fresh pasta and store bought pasta. A big difference. I'll really get the mix in. I'm gonna add in some capers and just kind of like toss those in. I'm no a plater, but let's see if we can make this look real cute. Boy, no way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. Oh my goodness. My plate, my husband's plate. <laughs> this time to taste it. I know, I know it tastes good. But you know, things look good, but do they taste good? Get the shirt, merch, the link will be below. It looks good, but do it taste good? Okay. Mm. It tastes so good. <laughs> I know it would. I know it would. Oh man. Mm. 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 All right, one more bite. Actually, let me just close out this video like this. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, all you got to do is click subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know below. And that's it. I don't know what else to say. There ain't nothing else to say. I just gotta eat. I just gotta eat. This is so good. If you make this recipe, make sure to tag me on Instagram or TikTok. It doesn't even matter. But this is definitely going in the cookbook. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay. Bye.